Hello everyone, welcome back. Thanks for uh, attending and watching our, our channel. And today we're going to talk about the updates on the Florida real estate investment market. And it's, it's beyond what you think of what we can talk about. We're going to talk about mm -hmm. several strategies that you may not know about, but we can do a very deep dive. Anyway, this is Siu Wing Yi, of course. Welcome. And my co-host is Julie. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Morning. Good morning. Yeah. I, I appreciate uh, you coming on, Julie, again. And Julie is one of our investment club top investor, part of our member of our investment community. By the way, all of you out there watching, whether for the first time or not, welcome to join our investment community at the bottom of the link. You just uh, subscribe to your email to our website at the bottom, and you will receive three monthly daily. Uh, email uh, information about great contents around real estate investing the whole nine yards. Thank you. And of course, if you see value on this video, please uh, like and subscribe to our YouTube channel as well. So uh, without further ado, uh, Julie, again, uh, the reason why I feel that she's, uh, she should attend to, to be our co-host of this video is that she will provide a perspective as a real estate investor. When I do my presentation, she will or provide input, put herself in the shoes of a real investor, uh, how they feel about this, uh, about my presentation. And Julie's are, again, Julie's a representation of all the potential real investors out there who are watching and analyzing uh, the topics that I'm about to discuss. Mm -hmm. Okay. And of course, Julie, um, by the way, uh, she's a extremely committed, very dedicated real investor, although she have a late start in her uh, real estate investing journey. Boy, I tell you what, several years ago, she, <laughs> she, she went crazy. Yeah. <laughs> uh, to the tune of six, she purchased six rental properties in our network. Uh, she did a combination of financing, 20 to 25% down payment. And also she used her self-directed IRA to purchase rental. But uh, we have done a lot of videos on other about her journey, but we're not going to go over that today. You want to learn more about what Julie has done within the personal portfolio, please watch our other YouTube channel uh, that we have done previously and also come our uh, uh, community insider, if you will. All right. Without further ado, let's let me, am I right, Julie? Yeah, definitely. Thank you for the ramp up. And, and also, I want to say thank you for the videos that you send every day because they are so informational. They're right on point. It keeps us up to date on what's going on in the market. And just, it's really great information. Thank you so much, Julie. I, I just want to provide great content, real, authentic information, not, not the doom and bloom click bit YouTube videos on real estate mm -hmm. people or has been uh, subject to every single day. Exactly. Yeah. And exactly. there are plenty of those people unethical and immoral people who provide some very inaccurate words information about the real estate. I was in the market, the doom and blow, crash bros out there, and all they are after is clickbait and get some more views by putting some ridiculous negative headlines out there and scare, and scare people from their investing. Am I right, Julie? Absolutely. Yeah, you're absolutely right. And I think when we got into the market, it was shortly after COVID, and there was a lot of gloom and doom and a lot of fear, fear branding and out there. And we just decided, we looked at a strategy and decided it was time for us to move on it. So it worked out well for us. That's right. That's right. Thank you. Thanks so much, Julie. Mm -hmm. Anyway, okay, let's talk about Florida. Let's talk about Florida could be, although we promote long-term investing, but we will continue to promote long-term investing for our investors, for any investors out there. I don't care where are you watching from any part of the U.S., Right. I don't, or even outside of the U.S., you can benefit from learning what we have to say because mm -hmm. guess what? No, if you decide to take action, you can invest in real estate. does not matter where you live. You can... Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. You live in Southern California and you bought properties 3,000 miles away. Mm -hmm. Anyway. Okay. We digress. Let's continue with this again. Yeah. Website. I don't want to <laughs> get off track. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we talk about Florida. Okay, Florida. So trifecta, you're in for a surprise. Let's do a, a deep dive. So uh, our, uh, the, the market that we're promoting, especially, especially in Florida, you could potentially uh, pivot on your rental property into medium-term rental and even short-term rental. 
Mm -hmm. I say again, you buy a property, buy an investment property for the purpose or initial purpose of a long-term buy and hold. You get an annual tenant, their annual lease and invest for the long-term. That's the idea. But however, since, since so much things have happened in the housing market in the last few years, you have to potentially to, to multiply the returns of your investment by pivoting potentially, if you want to, that is, into a medium term rental. Right. Okay, let's continue. I don't want to make this uh, problem mm -hmm. too long. All right. And when you want to research any market, uh, you need to, uh, the number, the top criteria that I have personally in the market you want to buy. Or, you know, if the property is located in a neighborhood where there's a lot of you know, uh, medical centers, hospitals, mm. everything else. And okay. I'll tell you why for, for a minute, okay? Another criteria I love to, to have available if, if your property is located close to colleges and universities. Yeah. And, and if the area is growing very fast, a lot of new constructions and that, what have right. you. So, in a way, those are my top three criteria. Uh, as a real estate investor. So quickly, Julie, uh, what are your thoughts as to what I just said? No, I think that basically what you just said, hospitals, because there's a lot of medical professionals, I think people need to understand wherever there's um, hospitals, there's medical professionals, there's traveling medical professionals, and they are looking, they may have a home in California, but be relocated to Texas for a season because they are, that's where they go to work. In fact, I have a good friend now who lives in Vegas, but she's working here in California at one of the hospitals here in California. So that's, and, and that's not her home. Her husband and her family are back in Vegas. So that makes a lot of sense. So people need to understand that that's why that's important. Where there's new construction, new builds, again, you have a lot of construction workers coming in. So yeah, that's the whole point of a midterm rental is that you're going to get someone that's there temporarily, but not, but actually has a home somewhere else. Yep, exactly. So uh, I'll quickly go over some of these slides. I don't want to spend mm -hmm. too much time. But, uh, Again, uh, you don't uh, buy your rented property at least through our network, potentially, right. uh, well, as a long-term uh, uh, landlord, long-term uh, investor. Again, you could pivot to a mid-term rental, 30, 60, 90, 120 day stay uh, mm -hmm. for those uh, mid-term rental tenant pools. But as long as based on, based on your research and due diligence, if you're able to determine that the uh, medium-term rental per month rent is around 50% higher then your long-term rental rates, both uh, rental rates, then that's the ideal scenario. Okay, yeah. yeah. And the, so next thing is, again, I'm not going to go over too much, but you can, uh, once you, the audience out there, once you re, uh, do a replay of this video, you can pause on this particular slide and so you can digest some of the details that I have put in place in terms of the potential tenant pools with the medium-term rental why this new asset class is exploding uh, mm -hmm. before our eyes. All right. So right. then okay, let's continue. We have, we have several more slides to do. And one thing, uh, Judy, uh, I really love uh, is that over the years, we've been doing this for the past 20 years. Uh, we've been helping our investors, regardless of where you live in the U.S., like I said, even foreign mm -hmm. countries, to buy new construction, single family home. Mm -hmm. house or duplex and triplex or fourplex, one to four unit, new construction in a very fast growing area, entry level homes, like 20, yeah. a home that are around 20 to 30 percent below the medium price of a single family home in a particular location. So you buy affordable homes, low price, and put a renter in there that you can cash flow at 20 to 25 percent down payment. That's the right. key criteria. We've been applying this strategy for the past 20 years and uh, moving forward is not going to change. So uh, new construction in a fast growing market in the South and Southeast, this is really a robust real estate as class for turnkey real investors. So quickly, Julie, what are your comments around what I just said? Oh, again, I think if you look at the quality of the property, the neighborhood of the property is, you, you know, you mentioned South Florida, Texas. These are areas where a lot of people are, are there. A lot of companies are building a lot. And it's a great, it's a great opportunity to take your long-term rental and turn it into a mid-term rental to really get that bump in um, rental receipts. Absolutely. Absolutely. Okay. Furthermore, this past <laughs> five months, throughout the uh, second half of 2023, 
with the, uh, with the skyrocketing of home prices everywhere, mainly, even mostly. And it's, it's the cash flow is hard to get. But the, uh, the seller and the builder that we use, usually, you know it, uh, the builder, the new builders, they are they providing some amazing incentives for yeah. the investor buyers. This, right. There's so much incentives. And one of the incentives is uh, from one lender in Florida, we're providing around mm-hmm. 0.99%. 30 year fixed rate mortgage, uh, no points on behalf of our investors. So you can reduce your loan rate, reduce your mortgage rates, so you can cash flow on some of the properties. So the built in incentives is just a, a mind boggling, you know, tremendous benefit. The area that we're promoting in Florida with this great team that we have in Florida, Southern Pressing Homes, this is the, the, the emerging market that we're mm-hmm. promoting. Okay. In the, we are. Going deeper into the suburb, deeper into the path of growth, if you will. And we have a number of locations, amazing system we put in place, in-house property management, turnkey, everything, one umbrella, all 30 units. It's very easy for Ohio State investors to, to pull a trade and buy these amazing mm-hmm. new construction properties, fast growing, population growth, job growth, migration, migration growth. The numbers make sense. We're very high quality tenants renting uh, these type of new construction homes and so forth. So since I'm at the location, I'm not going to do a deep dive on it. Everything going to discuss is uh, in a high level. We have houses, investment homes available for our investors in Jacksonville, Florida, Palm Coast, Ocala, Citrus Springs, Kanawa, Inverness, and Port Charlotte, Hunter Gorda, Lehigh Acres, Fort Myers, Cape, Cape, uh, Cape Coral. You know, something, look, Julie, you and I, you know that I've been promoting okay. Florida for the past 20 years and I purchased mm-hmm. a number of properties in it for myself, for my personal portfolio for many years in Florida. So suffice to say, I know what I'm talking about. Okay. Am I an expert? Not an expert really, but, but I know enough to, to, to understand that it's a, it's a robust market because mm-hmm. a team that we have on the ground, our turnkey team, they do all the work for us. They vet it every location, under every mm-hmm. land, every location. They put a great system, rent, uh, uh, build to rent business investment model for our right. Before I go over the, the, the high level of the Florida map, uh, what are your thoughts on, on what I just said? <laughs> I think something that I mentioned, I'm looking at some of the cities that you were talking about. A lot of them are inland because I think a lot of people may worry about, oh, they get hurricanes in Florida, <laughs> but most of those are inland. So they really don't have to worry about that too. So I just, was, I, t- I happen to like pick up patterns and like, oh yeah, those are mostly towards the center of the state. So yeah, the, all, all the negative headlines, they take the right. paper. The insurance premium has skyrocketed in Florida, da, da, da. Yes. Although that is true, but those news media, they blow everything out of, uh, proportion, but uh, right. we have experienced virtually no insurance situations in any of the applications that we're promoting. So mm-hmm. take it with a grain of salt. What right. I right. Okay. Now, before I'll go over the, the, this high level map of Florida, I just want to go back like 10 years in, in the past. Okay. Now, we look back, we just amazing the, the growth of Florida. Just to remind you that Florida is uh, number one. Uh, fastest growing state in the country. Okay. And a lot of people, not, not only retirees or coming to Florida to retire, of course, they've been doing okay. it for decades. You well, have younger people, millennials, baby boomers, everything. Baby boomers coming to Florida, buying vacation homes and millennials coming to Florida for jobs and, and quality of living and low affordable prices, etc. I'm not going over the details, but suffice to say, the reason why I named the eight location, eight or nine locations on a previous study and prices, I will show you the prices momentarily when we go over the pro forma. Uh, but uh, just five years ago, Julie, you just barely came onto my network like right. four years ago. Even before that, I've been pro- uh, promoting certain areas of Florida, these turnkey new constructions and what have you. But we were selling homes in inside Orlando, in the, uh, in the immediate suburbs of Orlando. And also in Tampa, in the uh, suburbs of Tampa, and also Cape Coral in the Southwest Florida down here. Mm-hmm. Before we do that, look at the city of Miami. I mean, Miami right now is growing by leaps and bounds. We have multi-million dollar yes. homes in Miami all over the place. We have some 
my name is the is the Wall Street of the South. Yeah. People from New York State to New Jersey and Northeast, they're coming, they're migrating into Florida. And, and also people from all over the country, we didn't come into Florida for a lot of reasons. So Miami is such an expensive market, very hard cash flow. I, I never moved this area. It's just, it's a, it's very affluent people come over to, to, uh, to South Florida and Miami. And they buy multi-million dollar homes, all the famous people, entertainers, movie stars, and that. So that's not our market. Same thing, a lot of the Atlantic coast, up and down and Atlantic coast, Fort, Fort Lauderdale, all the down in southern Fort St. Lucie and Fort Lauderdale in Miami, those houses are so expensive. Not for our investors, but I want to give people some perspective. Same thing. And in the south, southwest Florida, yeah, look at this, like the southwest Florida, Cape Coral and Fort Myers area, mm -hmm. this area is, has exploded. We are in Naples, the city of Naples, right? It's a very, right now, the median price of a, city, uh, of a house in Naples in the Southwest Florida is around probably about a million dollars. But mm -hmm. five years ago, Julie, a, a house in Naples is probably like 400,000, 300,000. Oh my goodness. In a mid three, four years, these uh, areas of Naples, Southwest Florida, have housing prices have increased by more than one. 150 percent. Wow. Same thing with Cape Coral, same because for a lot of reasons. Well, no, all the locals, it's very unfortunate. All the locals that grew up in Florida, they all, they all on a fixed income. They grew up in Florida, they, they lived in Florida for decades. Their income were unable to keep up with the skyrocketing housing prices. They have to move out of Florida. They have to go somewhere else to live, somewhere, somewhere else in the U.S. to live. For cheaper, mm -hmm. and, and they have to go to the suburbs. They cannot afford South Florida, Southwest Florida. They have to go. They have to go to rent somewhere in Central, in inland, inside Florida. So same thing in Tampa. If, if you go up in the, the Gulf Coast of Florida, Tampa, again, we were. I was selling homes. We were selling home my network to our investors in Tampa, in Orlando, in, in Southwest Florida, like three or four years ago wow. for one hundred fifty thousand dollars. Wow, bucks. what an opportunity. Wow. Yeah. Now, three or four years later, those one hundred fifty thousand dollar homes were like three hundred to four hundred thousand dollars. Wow. What an investment. Yeah. You know, our investors and other investors in the past three or four years, especially in twenty twenty one, at the peak of the COVID, when they purchased rental properties three or four years ago and the house exploded. So our few investors with our network to purchase, they're laughing their way up to the bank. All the way to the bank, right? All the way to the bank. And then many of our investors, they procrastinated. They did not prove it. They did not buy in the last couple of years. They, uh, they always regret, oh, I would have, could have, should have, would have. Right. We hear the same story all over again. Investors right. have an opportunity to buy today for mm -hmm. whatever reason, for one million Excuses they have, they did not buy. Guess what? If you don't buy today, five to ten years later, right? They're gonna say to themselves, "Oh, I could wish I would have bought five, ten years ago. Now the house is down double, triple in value." Right. <laughs> That's true. It's very, very true. Even even the area that we bought in upstate New York, they haven't grown, blown up like that. But we have had some significant increase in the equity on our properties. Not just that, not your rent has grown up, your cash flow right. is getting better and better. I know human nature, right? People always have this paralysis. They have this big fear. For whatever reason, they have a lot of excuses. But mm -hmm. uh, the few that took action, they have done well. And, right. and the majority will continue to do nothing. Five, ten years later, guess what? The financial picture is not going to be any different than it is now. You know what's the definition of insanity? <laughs> Doing the same thing over and expecting a different outcome. <laughs> exactly. So yeah. So anyway, let's continue with this uh, big picture map. It's the uh, the path of growth and appreciation and all that has continued to increase. My network and myself and among the, the builders we have connections with in Florida, we have to go deeper into the suburb, way deeper. Further away from Tampa, further away from Orlando, further away from mm -hmm. Cape Coral, to uh, 
to find a location that are cheaper mm-hmm. for our investors to cash flow. And we also project the migration of people are moving in the area mm-hmm. and we, we have a forward, forward thinking mindset that I have over the years. Go where the people are going, buy homes there, buy new construction before the, the, the ways mm-hmm. are people are moving in the location for whatever reason, right? Absolutely. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. It's not like a scientist. So right. <laughs> yeah, it's not in buying real estate. It's not like a science. You watch the trend, you watch the migration pattern, you look at the data, you look at all the metrics, uh, uh, no uh, investment homes, uh, you know, mm-hmm. low bottom market. Uh, just a reminder, I know in other videos and we talked about it already, where my historical no inventory of homes available. To, to sell, and then we have a huge demand for people that want to buy homes. Economics 101, when demand right. is greater than supply, housing prices are higher. And because of that, we have a 40-year afford- home affordability low that more people are entering the, the rental market than ever before in history. Right. So, you know, so you and I would agree, Julie, that the rent is going to increase in the next few years because... absolutely. People cannot afford to buy it anymore all over the country, not just Florida. So there are shortage of homes to rent, shortage of homes to buy in Florida, and very high demand. So to have these different... Nothing but opportunity is what it sounds like, but you have to take action. Yeah, exactly. So yeah, that's the bottom line. That's what it's all about. So let's continue. Mm-hmm. All right. So we're pushing the, the, the locations deep into the suburbs. Just said earlier, all the... So here's the pro forma. We get the builder buying down the rate for us investors, which is an amazing benefit. Not enough investors will take advantage of this opportunity that we've been presenting for the past nine months or so. Those people that we, within our investment community that took action and bought this type of property, they are very happy with their experience. And they were continuing to do this with a, with a lower rate buy down on a, on a, on a loan. They are. All investors were able to cash flow. All the numbers are good. This property is in Central Florida or color, which I have a property. I just closed that school a few months ago. Anyway, 25% now payment with the buyer rent buy down by the builder and all that great uh, incentives. Or you can cash flow in three hundred dollars in this uh, beautiful house, rental property. Uh, under a double, uh, a duplex for only 279K. A uh, duplex also 25% down payment with the lower rate. Fixed rate loan buy down, you have a cash flow of excess of five hundred dollars per month. But this is just a sample, okay? We have a new construction fourplex in Jacksonville, amazing mm-hmm. price, less than eight hundred grand, so four doors, four unit. Wow. Look at the numbers and look at the monthly net cash flow, mm-hmm. more than a thousand dollars. That's a great property. Oh, absolutely! Everything is available for investors to take action because this suburban market. This is just a sample, okay? I'm not going to go over all the performance for all nine locations that we have you know, all over Northern Florida, Florida, and Southeast Florida. Then we have great investment property. So anyway, so need what else? So yeah, that, that's just what's happening. And, mm-hmm. and the cap is, again, buy cash flow income property for long-term buying the home and with a secondary objective as to potentially versus out there Continue to do your research and do diligence on a specific location that you're buying in Florida, and then do some additional research. I have done a lot of research on the medium term rental, and I'm more than happy, I've been consulting with my and coaching my investors which location, which house are uh, appropriate for potentially converting into a mid term rental. And so, it's all about getting the proper rate in turn for the property, able to adapt. Pivot on your list portfolios and then cheap long term growth. With that in mind, so what did you take away uh, during the mm-hmm. presentation? I think that you're, the whole presentation, you're showing the unlimited opportunities of owning real estate. I think the first thing is it's just to get in. You can't, you can't play the game if you're not, you haven't signed up. So you got to get in. You have the opportunity to do long term for your bread and butter. You have the opportunity to scale up to a midterm or even short term. You didn't really go into that a lot, but that would be just another opportunity that's very big with the Airbnbs and all that. It's the opportunities are unlimited. The benefits are unlimited. You talked a lot about the equity growth in the uh, in the South Florida area, and then the rental increases, cash flow, the, the buy down rate, 
there's just a lot of opportunity for people right now. But I think the main thing is you just got to get in. Absolutely. Yeah. At the end of the day, it's, it's all about taking action and, mm-hmm. uh, and then then just uh, become a long-term investor, let the property manager do your job for yes. the rental, for medium term rental. You could uh, self-manage your rental property. That's mm-hmm. a lot of resources available. I and mean, we don't have time to talk about it. Like we have Furnish Finder, the website that can help you do the mutual rental. There's so much tools and resources out there to help you. But listing is, uh, is amazing. As so we're getting to 2024, this could be a very exciting year. We see some hopeless growth of uh, real estate in many areas in the country with the, the mortgage rate decreasing and mm-hmm. the demand is picking up and people are motivated to buy homes, to, right. to live and to rent and to uh, this is the time to pull the trigger and make 2024 a great year Absolutely, all of you out there. Am I right, Julie? Absolutely. And it's, like I said, it's a new year. It's a great time to start looking at a new opportunity. And I would just encourage people to reach out because there's so much information. You've provided so much information for us, which helped my husband and I really make some exciting, scary, and what ended up being a great decision for us. It was scary at first, though, because we didn't know anything about it. But really just taking the time. Doing the research, figuring out what the goal was, and then just really taking your wise counsel really helped us scale up pretty quickly. Very good. Right. Thank you so much. Once again, out there for you, for your watchers out there, please, uh, if there's any value on this presentation, please uh, like and subscribe to our YouTube channel and comment below. Share with us what your situation or you ready to become an investor. Do you like the, the market we're presenting? Do you see yourself? Investing in Florida, digging the information you have provided for you. And also subscribe to our email website so you can become a senior member of our real estate community. Thank you so much. This is Sylvain Dewey and Julie. Thank you for attending. I will see you, you so on much. this video. Have a nice day. Mm-hmm. Bye bye.